A story today takes us up on a roof. Let me show you what I have back here. I have a fascia, an overhang, which is the soffit underneath here, and these vented pieces right here are perforated pieces. They're actually a soffit vent. It's designed to take the cooler air from under the overhang into the attic. Let me show you where it goes. Now I'm here at the highest part of the roof, the ridge. Underneath these shingles right here, there's a slot on the roof that runs the entire length. That's called a ridge vent. It's designed to let the hot air of the attic out, pulling the cooler air from the soffit vents into the attic. Unfortunately, it's pulling more than just cool air into the attic. Now back here under the overhang, there's another kind of vent. This one right here. And this is a vent from the bathroom fan, and it should never be in a vented soffit. It's causing the homeowners a lot of problems. Okay, Tommy, let me show you what we have here. Okay. A few months ago, I put in a new bathroom fan, and we noticed this discoloration in these areas right here. Under the roof sheathing. That's right. That's the beginning of mold. So what you've done is you've actually vented the bathroom fan outside but you vent it into a vented soffit. What happens is that soffit pulls that warm, moist air into the attic. In the wintertime, it condenses under the sheathing, causes the sheathing to get wet, causes mold to grow. That's as bad as venting the fan right into the attic. Okay, so what can we do about that? Well, let's take a more direct route and vent the fan right out through the roof. All right, sounds great. Now the best way to mark for where we're gonna put the hole is about in the middle of the rafter bay. I'm gonna take a nail and I'm gonna drive it right through the roof sheathing, through the roof shingles, and it'll stick up. We'll go outside, locate the nail. All right, we're up on the roof, and you can see where the nail came through the roof, and this is where we're gonna drill our hole. We're gonna use this vent hood right here. It actually has a little door on the inside here that will close with gravity to keep the cold air from blowing back into the bathroom when the fan is off. It has a screen right here to keep the critters out. First thing I wanna do is remove some of the roof shingles so I can drill a hole. All right, now I'm going to measure the vent hood. It's five and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my tape at two and three quarters, cut on one side, five and a half on the other side, and that will center my vent hood right over the nail. Now cut right across the bottom here. Now remove that shingle. Now I gotta break the seal of the shingle so I can slide the vent hood up under the shingles. Now, all right, that fits good. Now I'm ready to drill a hole. I'm gonna use a four and a quarter inch hole saw. Okay, now we're ready for the duck. Now your original ductwork is actually uninsulated. So what I wanna do is I wanna change it to this right here, an insulated duct system. By doing that, we'll lessen the chance of condensation forming in the winter when your attic is cold. Now I wanna put this sleeve into the pipe so I can connect the ductwork to the roof. First thing I need to do is I need to crimp this so it will fit inside the pipe. By crimping this pipe, it actually makes it smaller so it'll fit in the four inch pipe. Now it'll fit inside this four inch pipe. Slide it right on there, okay. Now to hold the two together, I'm gonna to use this foil duct tape. All right, that's good. This is the end that you'll pass to me when I get up on the roof. While I get up on the roof, disconnect the old duct work and connect this one. Okay. Okay, slide it up. All right, Tom. All right, now to hold the ductwork into position, I'm simply gonna cut a couple of tabs on each side so I can nail it to the roof. All 
Now bend those over. Now slide the ductwork down just a little. Hold it right there. Let me get a nail. That's one. All right, now we're ready for the vent hood. Now what I want to do is I want to run a bead of caulking right around the perimeter underneath. Nice heavy bead of a tripolymer caulking. It'll seal it up really nice. Okay, now I don't want to put any on the bottom right here because if any condensation should form, it'll run out under the hood. And I gotta pick up the shingle. Slide it right up in there. Push it down. Work it around. Make a nice tight seal. Good. Now what I want to do is pick up the shingle, then I'm going to drive the nail through the flange into the sheeting. Okay, now the other side. Okay, now I want to put another bead of sealant right down here. Nice thick bead. Soften it right at the edge of the roof shingle. Push that shingle right in it. That'll seal that. Do the same thing on the other side. Cross the bottom of the shingle a little bit. Push it into it. Now I want to put a couple of nails across the top of the vent hood. Okay, nice thick bead there. Across the top of the hood. Now just push the shingle into it and the vent hood is sealed. There. Now when you turn on that bathroom fan, all that warm moist air will come out of the house and stay out of the house. Uh, Tommy, this is great. I'm so appreciative of you. You did a terrific job. Thank you. My pleasure, Mark. Mm -hmm.